and welcome to Fish Tanks with Heidi. I wanted to bring you a video all about my top five favorite nano fish for beginners. I think nano tanks are becoming much, much more popular and I think that they can look absolutely beautiful on a table or on a desk, beautifully aquascaped, a little five gallon or 10 gallon tank, and you can have some really, really pretty options in terms of fish. Now I will say if I was going to choose a nano tank, I would go with a 10 gallon tank. The nice thing about a 10 gallon tank is it's relatively small and relatively inexpensive. And what I have found is that most of the time a 10 gallon tank costs about the same as smaller tanks but gives you a lot more options in terms of fish because as you're going to see a lot of these smaller fish are schooling fish and so they do better in groups so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with number five my number five favorite nano fish for a freshwater tank for beginners are cardinal tetras now neon tetras are probably a little bit more popular or people might be a little bit more familiar with them a lot of times people don't recognize the difference between neon or cardinal tetras cardinal tetras do get a little bit bigger and they have a red stripe all the way across the bottom of them as opposed to neon tetras where the red stripe is just kind of like on half of the bottom either one of them are really really pretty but in my experience I find that cardinal tetras school a little bit more prettily and I just find their color to be just slightly more vibrant and also them to be a little bit hardier I have a little bit more luck with cardinal tetras so I think cardinal tetras are a really great choice for a colorful aquarium and a tank that has maybe all cardinal tetras and then maybe one showpiece fish could look absolutely beautiful or a species only tank my number four favorite fish for a nano tank for beginners is going to be chili rasporas. Now these are a little bit more difficult to track down than some of the cardinal tetras. Um, they don't typically have them at chain pet stores, but I do love the way that they look against a green background because red and green are contrasting colors. And they are itty bitty. Again, they prefer schools, so um, you can have a small school of them, but I do find that they are very small, small fish. So. They do well in pretty small little nano tanks. Number three, Pygmy Corydoras. I used to not really be into algae eating fish, mostly because I associated them with plecos, and plecos are nocturnal, and in my experience, kind of lay there like a log. I don't find them to be particularly interesting, and as plecos get older, first off, they can get enormous, so they're not appropriate for most tanks if you're doing like a common pleco. And secondly, a lot of species of plecos will develop a, a taste for slime coats and as they get older eat less algae and eat more carnivorous foods and will sometimes hunt your fish. So I'm not a huge fan of plecos personally although I do know that they are very very popular but I wouldn't recommend one in a nano tank unless maybe a bristlenose pleco in like say a 20 gallon. Um, but pygmy quarries are really, really cool. I find that they do a very efficient job of cleaning up algae, but I also find that they're really, really active. And again, you can do a small group of them because they do prefer schools. I have six in my 20 long, and they're so cool. They just zoom around the tank. It's really, really cool to watch pygmy, cor pygmy quarries swim around. So um, definitely that would be my number three. Number two, no list of fish for a nano tank would be complete for beginners without saying a beta. The nice thing about a beta is that they can do they do live in nano tanks but compared to some of these other fish they're actually a pretty substantial size so they can be kind of a showpiece fish and live completely by themselves in something like I had mine in a three and a half gallon for a little while and it was absolutely beautiful um, a lot of times there's a lot of myths out there about about betas I know people say that they can't live with other fish that has just not been my experience at all I have yet to have a beta that truly can't live with other fish if the tank is big enough and it's the right group of fish. Most of the time I find that things like tetras are picking on the beta, not the other way around. So my beta lives in my 20 gallon long and gets along really, really well with all the fish that I have in there and loves all of the plants. I think that betas are just absolutely beautiful fish and the nice thing about them is that they're pretty hardy and they're pretty good. Uh, good fish for someone that's just starting out with fish tanks because you can keep them in a small a smallish tank I wouldn't keep them in like those itty bitty tiny beta tanks that you often see sometimes you see them as small as like 0.25 gallons that to me is just way too small but you can keep them in a pretty small fish tank um, something like a, a two and a half gallon is what the internet recommends um, or larger and they do pretty well and then my number one favorite 
um, nano fish for beginners in the freshwater world are endlers. A lot of people really like guppies. Guppies are cool too. I prefer endlers because they stay a little bit smaller than guppies. And the nice thing about endlers compared to some of these other fish that I'm talking about is that while they do well in schools, they don't necessarily have to have schools like something like a cardinal tetra or raspora really, really needs a school to thrive. So I think that you could do like an, a couple of endlers even in a relatively small tank and have some really beautiful color and I just think that they're really pretty cool fish. So those are my top five freshwater fish in nano tanks for beginners. I would love to hear from you guys down below what are some of your favorite nano fish for freshwater for beginners. Um, and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to see this video on nano fish that I don't recommend for beginners, or you'd like to see a video all about saltwater nano fish, let me know in the comments. Or if there's anything else that you'd like to see, let me know. And be sure to hit that bell next to the subscribe button. And let me know what you guys think of this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That will let me know um, if there's some other content that you guys would be interested in. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.